Before becoming the number one draft pick in 2024 for the Chicago Bears, the Chicago Bears select Caleb Williams, quarterback. Before winning the 2022 Heisman Trophy after setting single season school records in passing yards and touchdowns, before throwing two interceptions in a game loss against the Texans, something he said won't happen again, who was Caleb Williams? Williams now, looking deep for a dude save. He's got it to the 35. What's up guys, on this episode of Before They Were Famous, we're covering an absolute star from college football and now in the NFL. Caleb Williams has a great story to tell and I'm gonna be your narrator. Williams was born in Washington, D.C. on November 18th, 2001, and went on to play high school football at Gonzaga College High School. He was named Washington Post All-Metropolitan First Team and Washington, D.C. Gatorade Football Player of the Year after leading Gonzaga to a WCAC championship as the best team in the district as a sophomore in 2018. I'm not big into rankings, but I do, I've always felt as if I was number one. He also ran for 394 yards and 10 touchdowns on the ground in addition to passing for 2,624 yards and 26 touchdowns. He was selected to the Washington Post All-Metropolitan First Team as a junior in 2019. After rushing for 838 yards and 19 touchdowns and passing for 1,770 yards and 19 touchdowns, it was his second straight year on the team. Williams is going to take off. The following summer, he was voted MVP of the Elite 11 Finals. Because of what happened in 2020 globally, his senior season was canceled in 2020. Williams, who was considered as the best quarterback prospect in his class, committed to play football for the University of Oklahoma. I'm Caleb Williams and I just committed to Oklahoma on July 4th. I'm your host Yusuf, AKA ZXC, and I put out some music recently. I'll tell you more about it at the end of the video. Oh, and we want to bring back community on this channel. We have giveaways and contests coming soon. For now, let us know in the comments who to do next, and if we pick yours, we'll shout you out. Now, let's get into the video. Williams joined the Oklahoma Sooners for his true freshman season in 2021 as Spencer Rattler's backup quarterback. In the team's sixth game of the season, midway through the Sooners' rivalry game with the Texas Longhorns, Williams took over as the starting quarterback. Oklahoma was trailing 35-17 in that game when Williams came in for Rattler and turned things around for the Sooners, who won 55-48. In the end, he gained 212 throwing yards, two touchdowns via passes, 88 running yards, and one touchdown via rushes. The next week, Williams got his first start against Texas Christian University. In a 52-31 victory, Williams passed for 295 yards and four touchdowns, and ran for 66 yards and a rushing touchdown. He finished his rookie season with six rushing touchdowns, four interceptions, and 21 passing touchdowns in just seven games. Williams made his transfer to the University of Southern California official on February 1st, 2022, after he had registered on the transfer portal on January 3rd, 2022. This brought him back together with head coach Lincoln Riley, who had led the Sooners before being hired away by the Trojans the previous November. On August 25th, Williams was selected the team starter, and on August 31st, he was chosen captain. He completed 19 of 22 passes for 249 yards and two touchdowns in his first start against Rice, helping USC win 66-14. He was selected as the 2022 Heisman Trophy winner and went on to win the AP College Football Player of the Year award, becoming USC's first winner since Reggie Bush in 2005. He topped the NCAA in passing touchdowns with 42. In the 2023 regular season, Williams and the Trojans finished 7-5 with 31 passing and 11 rushing touchdowns while throwing for 3,333 yards. After the season, he entered the 2024 NFL Draft and finished his college career with 120 touchdowns and nearly 10,000 yards of throwing. In line with the school's custom for Heisman Trophy winners, USC retired his number 13 in 2024. The Chicago Bears selected Williams first overall in the 2024 NFL Draft. To obtain the pick used on Williams, the Bears traded the number one overall pick from the previous season to the Carolina Panthers. He was selected in the first round along with six other quarterbacks, 
tying the record set by the 1983 draft for the most in NFL history. In May, Williams was declared the starter. On July 17, 2024, he agreed to a four-year rookie contract worth $39.4 million with full guarantees. Against the Tennessee Titans, Williams became the first quarterback drafted first overall to win in their NFL debut since 2002. He completed 14 of 29 passes for 93 yards without any touchdowns or interceptions. On Sunday, September 15, 2024, Caleb Williams threw two interceptions in a striking defeat against the Texans. Speaking after the match to the press, Caleb expressed some regret, but ultimately said he won't make the same mistake again. Obviously, I had the two stupid mistakes that won't happen again, but I think rhythm, pass game, getting the ball to receivers, I think I got better with getting the ball out of my hands, trying to stay in the right range of timing, the offensive linemen, myself, and the roots, I think those are the few spots I've gotten better at. Williams expressed confidence in his ability to lead the Bears' as offense, saying he knows what has to be done. Play your game, play within the way that we need to play, the way that I need to play for the offense. Be efficient and make less mistakes each week. Don't make the same mistake over and over, Williams said. Williams has only played in two games, so it is far too early to draw any conclusions about his potential as a player. However, in those two games, Williams has completed just 56.1% of his passes for 267 yards. As of recording this, thrown two interceptions, no touchdown passes, and nine sacks. Although Williams still has time to improve, the Bears want to see evidence that he won't keep making the same mistakes. Personally, I think he can go the distance. He's got energy and drive and notices his mistakes. Is there anything more you would want in a player? I mean, other than experience, of course. Even though I'm sad he's playing against my team in the near future, I think he'll do well overall. Welcome to the league, Caleb. Also, what did you guys think of his story? Let us know in the comments, and while you're down there, why not drop a like and sub if you really want to see more videos like this. As I said in the intro, I dropped some music recently. You can check out my debut album, A Beautiful Thing Is Never Perfect by ZXC on all platforms. It would mean a ton if you checked it out. Anyways, have a great day, and peace out. Hey guys, it's your boy Michael McCrudden. I'm back and I got some exciting news to share with you guys here from Before They Are Famous. Now we are finally making the move to Hollywood and we're gonna breathe some new life into this brand and we're utilizing the power of Web 3.0. Now we've entered into a partnership with Mogul Productions and these guys are out in Tinseltown already rolling out the red carpet and getting films made. Now, I've been talking to them for some time and I've been keeping a close eye on everything they've been doing and we're talking some pretty big moves. There's been Hollywood premieres, A-lister endorsements, global theatrical releases, and they're getting projects Hollywood refused to make greenlit all the way to premiering in Hollywood. Well, what does this mean for you? Well, because you're a part of the Before They Were Famous community and now that I've partnered with Mogul Productions, well, we're gonna be able to get closer to Hollywood by allowing you to win invites to red carpet film premieres. How about having a day on set or landing an extra role in a film or TV show? Yeah, we can do that now. We're also talking meet and greets with actors and filmmakers, red carpet events and more. Also, if anyone's interested in a producer credit on like projects or even like getting some everyday giveaways like an AMC or a Cinemark gift card, we're doing all of it. Now, if you think I'm just blowing smoke up your ass, well, Mogul Productions, they just put out the latest film, City of Dreams. And uh, in doing so, well, they got some shout outs from some of the biggest names in Hollywood. Take a look for yourself. Hi, I'm Tony Robbins. I'm one of the executive producers of City of Dreams. I've been making films for a long time, and every now and then you come across a film that is actually truly important. I think this is one of the most important movies of our time. That exposes in no uncertain terms the harsh, brutal, and devastating reality for numerous innocent victims of human trafficking right here in the United States. This incredible story moves me deeply. Now, as we all know, the internet, it's tearing away all the red tape of the old industries. I'm thinking like Uber killed the cab and Mogul Productions with the power of Web 3.0. Well, they plan to take down the big dogs like Harvey Weinstein. Good riddance. A film like City of Dreams, well, it was blacklisted from ever being made. That's cause, uh, well, Hollywood, they don't 
don't want child abduction and child slavery. They don't want those stories to be told. But gone are the day of the big dogs telling everyone what can make it to theaters. And now people are, uh, well, they're able to fund the projects that they're most passionate about. The power is falling back into the hands of creators like me and internet savvy communities like the one I fostered here on Before They Are Famous. Now, Mogul Production, it's a unified ecosystem for filmmakers, supporters, and financers. So all can collaborate to get projects greenlit and pumped out to the millions. Now this announcement here, it's just an intro of our partnership. We're gonna be giving you up-to-date like giveaways and uh, like announcements, what films are coming out, which ways are we gonna be promoting it, how you can get involved, and we'll roll those out as we do with new videos each and every week. If you wanna find out more, there is a link down below, but just let you know that uh, I know I'm not hosting Before They Are Famous as much as I used to, but you'll still see me involved in many a way, and this is just one of them. All right, hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in another video. Boom!